In this video I'm going to show you how you can work with fractions on your Casio FX82MS calculator. So the basic idea, if you've got 1 followed by this symbol 2, that's equivalent to a half, and 1, the symbol 1, and then 2 is 1 and a half. So if you get this notation into your head, you're well on your way to understanding. So let's just do a very simple example, a half plus a half. This is very obviously um, equal to 1. The way you do this on this calculator is to use this button here, the A, B over C button. So just put in 1, um, 2 plus a half as so. Following those steps, press equals and you will of course get 1. And let's see what happens if you add another half to that. That gives us one and a half. And it displays it in this format as so. You can convert this back and forward between decimals. You just use this A, B over C button. So if we press that, we get 1.5. One and a half is, of course, 1.5. Um, it works in exactly the opposite way. So say you've got 1.75, you just put 1.75 equals. Then if you press this A, B over C button, we'll get this here, which if you, you've followed before, you should know that that's one and three quarters, um, as so. And if we press the A, B over C button again, we get 1.75. Um, there is one more interesting thing that this calculator can do. Um, it can switch between mixed and improper fractions and back. So it can go both ways. So for example, if you put in something like 1 and 3 quarters, so this is 1 AB over C, 3 AB over C, 4. So you enter it that way, equals to put that into the memory. If we press shift and then this D over C button, so it's converting from A times B over C into just um, D times C. It's effectively combining A and B. So pressing shift, D over C, that tells us that is... Um, 7 over 4. So um, if you press that button again you can get it in fractions and um, decimals. So you can do all these various conversions and get um, the result in the form that you want. So hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.